going worldwide. Dirty water. I love that dirty water TV. Love that dirty water TV. <laughs> That dirty water TV. I really do. The best. Ow! Welcome to Dirty Water TV. I'm Sophia Goulet. And I'm Kayla Harrity. We are here at the fine Howl at the Moon with the dueling pianos behind us, sipping some cocktails, having a good time. There's so much entertainment here. Not only do we have Howl at the Moon upstairs, it's down Ultra Lounge, downstairs. So much dancing. It's a really good time on a Friday or Saturday night. Oh, yes. And not to mention the comedy club that's downstairs, Dick's Comedy Den with legendary Dick Doherty. We're going to be talking to the king of nightlife, S.J. Torres, about this Howl at the Moon, but also the new Howl at the Moon. It's in Patriot Place at Gillette Stadium. I hear there's bowling. I hear there's Patriots players, so I'm in. And I have an interview with some of the cast from the movie The Giver. I'll take you to the Cape for a Heineken patio party at the Courtyard in Catalmit, which is owned by former Bruins tough guy, Jay Miller. And I hit the House of Blues for the start of the Great Boston Beer Marathon. An awesome bar crawl sponsored by Heineken and the Great American Foundation. And we go back to the Cape as our own Butch Stearns takes us to Dino's for a Heineken patio party. But first I sat down with the stars of the movie The Giver, also the author of the book The Giver. They were in town for this screening. Such a great movie. And that's tonight's big ticket brought to you by Higgs Tickets. Let's check it out. Hey guys, I am here with the woman behind the book, The Giver, and also the stars behind the new movie. All right, so I'm gonna start with you. Your story brought this movie alive. What was it like seeing the characters come alive on screen? Well, it's uh, been a long time coming, uh, and now that it's here, it's kind of exhilarating to see it all fall into place and to see the characters who are a little older on the screen than they were in the book but it works just fine because they have that same air of youth and naivete and vulnerability and innocence. Right? Innocent? Yes. Um, <laughs> complete innocence. On screen. On screen. We gotta go now. You, me, and Gabe. Joe to say can't. What about my family unit and the other new children? I can't leave them. This is the only way. This is the only way to make everything okay. I can't go. When I get there, you'll understand. I'll come back for you. Jonas! Did you guys feel some sort of pressure to live up to the book? My character, I don't think, is as complex as it is in the book. But I did um, take, you know, I think Fiona in the book, she takes care of the old. In the movie, she's taking care of baby. So there, she does have this nurturing, loving side. But in the movie, I think she plays a huge part of Jonas's journey to, um, to seek freedom because because he falls in love and, and he and he wants to go and, and live a life that's filled with love and passion. And yeah, I, this book is loved by millions of people all over the world. I guess one of the pa uh, pressures was, will I fill, fulfill the role of Jonas? Um, Lois's blessing obviously made that a little less um, crazy and and hectic. Um, but yeah, at the start, I, I felt very scared and anxious to play this kid. So many amazing actors in this. Academy Award winners, Jeff Bridges, Meryl Streep. What was it like for both of you to be working with the best of the best in the entertainment industry? It's really an honor. Such an early stage in my career, I never really thought I would get to work with them. They're such amazing people. They're very relaxed and, and make you feel very comfortable. And you just, you learn really from watching them and, and seeing how free they are and how they're willing to be foolish and they're willing to fail and, um, and how passionate they are about this story. I think it's, it's really nice to, to get to work with them. It's like a masterclass every day, you know? It's like, um, I, st I went to college for three years and studied acting. And, you know, I think I learned more in this film than in those three years. And so it was a blessing in disguise. It was, Great. Bring up Jonas's activity. He's inquisitive. You should know better. 
than anyone. The way things look and the way things are are very different. What? That's my father. There is no way for me to prepare you for the truth. I haven't been here. I've been here for a day, but um, you know, I've always been a big fan of the Boston accent. You know? I was going to ask you guys to do your Boston accent. accent. <laughs> what, what, what is it? I, I don't know what is it because you're not an actor. But what? Oh, can she can probably do it though. Like, I'm sure. Have a what? Have a yacht? Pack, 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 pack. Pa oh, pack the car. Oh, like pack is it like a, like Family Guy? That like yeah. a Peter Griffin? Yeah, a little bit. The car, butter. Yeah. yeah. That's Good. yeah. I feel like that's Rhode Island too. Like butter. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Thank you guys so much. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. That's tonight's big ticket brought to you by Higgs Tickets. Here's what else is going on around town. Hi, I'm Higgs. So call me, get tickets, and be part of the action. Up next, Butch Stearns hits the Cape and Dino Sports Bar and Pizza for a Heineken patio party. And later, we'll find out what makes the world's greatest dueling piano show howl. That's when Dirty Water TV returns. But I love that dirty water. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Sophia Goulet. And I'm Kayla Harrity. And we're here kicking it at Howell. It is a great spot to come and chill after work. You got the piano playing in the background. I think I hear some old school Tracy Chapman going on. And they have a new menu. I've been looking at this menu all night. I haven't ordered anything yet. I heard the pizza's pretty good. Pizza good. Speaking of pizza, our own Butch Stearns was at Dino's best pizza on the Cape for a Heineken patio party. Absolutely, and what better way to eat pizza than to have it with an ice cold Heineken. Butch Stearns, what's going on? So this summer, Dirty Water TV has partnered up with Heineken to bring you to some of the best patio bars in and around New England and Boston, and that's brought us right now to Mashpee and to Dino's. Hi, Butch, I'm Aubrey. Hi, Aubrey. You look like you need a Heineken light. I do need a Heineken light. Let me show you Dino's. Oh, awesome, Dino's. Let's go in. Hi, I'm Hope. Hi, Hope. There's only one way to find out exactly what you need to know about Dino's. That's to talk to Dino. What's up, Dino? Butchie, welcome. I, I, it is a welcome for me. First time here for me. Can you imagine? Where you been? I'm a little embarrassed about that. You absolutely did. Like 400 million people have come through here, and we're waiting for you. Because I don't spend a lot of time in bars, you know, so I, it, it's, I'm surprised I haven't been here, Dino. That's the point. That's not what I heard, though, you know? So, so what do I need to know about Dino's? If I've never been here, if someone's never been here, what do we need to know about Dino's? Well, we've been here 24 years. Old family secret, making pizza for 50 years. We're the second best wings in the world. And it doesn't matter who's first, because you're here now. Uh, we have the new raw bar. Fantastic raw bar here. This is Cape Cod, known for shellfish and raw bar stuff. We have three different types of local oysters. Uh, Washburn, Katuit, and uh, First Light. And then we also have local Little Necks. How do I eat my oyster? Just suck it right in? Yeah. All one motion. Yep. That's good. We have the best staff on the Cape. I've worked up in Boston and I work down here every summer. I always keep coming back. It's like a big family here. It's a great place. Live music, a bar, an oyster bar. I mean, great people. So you're from Worcester and you came to the Cape to come to Dino's? Just for Dino's. Do you know and what you're going to Heineken. And for His prices are great. His food is good. He's a good hometown bar. You feel safe here. And you have a good time. First time at Dino's? Um, today. <laughs> I've seen Dino's grow from literally a tiny little pizza place to this, which is a beautiful patio. Seafood lovers at heart. Yeah. The oyster bar is great. It's a new addition. Uh, live music all the time. The little fire pit's really fun. Come at night. <laughs> What do you like about playing here at Dino's? 
I, I just love the atmosphere. The people are so receptive to the music, and uh, Dino's been awesome to us, and Neil and everybody. It's it's just been a great place to play. I love it here. Dino's Rocks and Soda Sports. Great staff, uh, great drinks, best prices in town, um, everything. That's it. We love Dino's. <laughs> Thanks, Butch. Next, we're going to be hitting the House of Blues for this event I went to. 10 a.m. in the morning, 200 people at the House of Blues, all wearing Viking hats and all drinking beer, a beer marathon. So they were day drinking with Viking hats on, and I wasn't invited. No, morning drinking. That is my and favorite kind drinking. of drinking, quite and honestly. Drinking. That's unbelievable. I have to see this. Let's roll the tapes. There are only a few things that can get me up before 10 a.m. on a Saturday morning. Glowing Viking hats, beer, and a couple thousand of my closest friends right here at the House of Blues for the great Boston Beer Marathon. Let's check out the party. All right, guys, I'm here with some handsome Vikings here today. What brings you here to this amazing marathon? Uh, you know, we just like to drink and have a good time and uh, try to relive those college days. Hey, guys, I'm here with Scott and Brian from the Great American Foundation. What brings you guys here today? I know you have some involvement in the day. Tell me a little bit about what you guys are here for. Sure. Uh, so a portion of the proceeds for, from today's event are going right to the Great American Foundation. So. We're lucky enough to team with John and the crew. This is our second straight year doing the event. And, you know, a lot of the same people that come to the beer marathon come to a lot of our events. So it's just a perfect fit. Perfect. And where's your Viking hat? Um, I could say that you stole it, but I don't know. I, yeah, thank you. I had one way over there. I keep losing everything that I have. But I got my hand on my beer, so I'm all right. All right, guys, I'm in here with the two men who have planned this fabulous event, John and Eric. Tell me what is going on here today. Today we got the ninth annual Great Boston Beer Marathon. We've been doing this thing nine years now, holding it every year. Uh, we got about 1,500 to 2,000 people expected this year. Everybody's having a beer. Crowd in Lansdowne Street, crowd in Fenway, crowd in Ralston, Brighton later. Uh, it's going to be a good time. Uh, just enjoying a couple of beers, a couple of Heineken. Yeah, right? Heineken was kind enough to sponsor us this year, so we have a, a, a great sponsor for a beer, the beer of all beers. Uh, we've got Great American Foundation. Um, we're going to be, you know, working with them to make a, a, a great donation based on our ticket sales. 26 bars, and we've made it back to the home base. It's been one crazy day at the Great Boston Beer Marathon. I can't wait to see what happens next year. Reporting for Dirty Water News, I'm Kayla Harrity. Up next, we'll find out what makes Howl at the Moon the world's greatest rock show. And later, I'll take you to the Cape and the amazing Courtyard Restaurant and Pub owned by former Bruins bad boy, Jay Miller. That's when Dirty Water TV returns. Hey guys, Boston comedian Dave Russo here. And if you love that Dirty Water TV, then want to come out and see me live. Check out my website for a schedule of upcoming shows and special events at a venue near you. Yo, yo. Hey guys, welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Kayla Harrity. And I'm Sophia Goulet. And tonight we are joined by the king of nightlife, S.J. Torres, right here at Howl at the Moon. Can you tell us a little bit about Howl at the Moon? This is one of my favorite bars. It has been for years now. Amazing piano players, amazing food, amazing drinks. Where did it all come from? Well, Howl at the Moon is based out of Chicago. My partner and I, Paul Holian, want to do a piano bar about four and a half years ago now. We're going on, entering our fifth year. Um, and Howl at the Moon approached us and says, geez, you guys want to do a piano bar in Boston? We want to be part of it. So we partnered up together, and thank God we've had four, four and a half years of success. And, you know, we're a piano bar. We're the nightclub down Ultra Lounge downstairs. So we're kind of a destination location. Let's keep the ball rolling, you know? Speaking of keeping the ball rolling with the new bowling alley, Howl at Gillette Stadium over in Patriots Place, can you tell me a little bit about the expansion? You like how I did that, keep the ball rolling? Oh, I do, I saw what you did there. Well, we just expanded the concept to Patriot Plates in Foxborough. Um, we have a combination bowling alley slash Howl at the Moon. It's called Splitsville, and they're out of Disney World in Florida, and they have, a, you know, they have multiple locations around the country. 
So you can go to Patriot Place and check us out there. The food is outstanding. Daff is attractive and vibrant. It's a new spot, so we're fired up about it. And besides the bar, we also have Dirty Water News, our sister newspaper. It's right in front of us. Tell us about Dirty Water News. DirtyWaterNews.com. We're a publication. Your website, right? Yeah, we're a publication, and we have DirtyWaterNews.com. The people that blog for us and write for us, the best articles get in the newspaper. Where can we find these? You can find them in 300 locations around the city. And now if you even send us your address, we'll send you a free subscription for the next month. We'll send it right to your house. New innovative thing that you're doing at The Greatest Bar, one of my favorite bars in Boston. Live web podcast. Anyone in the world can see it, basically. Me and Sophia did an episode. First of all, do you start your show this weekend? No, I have pressure, but yes. <laughs> you guys heard it. Kayla Harity starts Friday night, her live webcast from The Greatest Bar for Dirty Water Fridays. Yeah, we stream video live on our website. And the number one thing is if you enjoy a good beer, go out and support it. Go out and buy it. You know? yeah. Yeah. It's kind of a way where you're voting with your dollar. It is. It is. We're practicing for the ESPN of my life. Dirty Water TV is just everywhere. We have a whole new website. We're in the news. We're, on, we're live and we're on TV. What haven't we done, honestly? If you're going to advertise a nightlife in the city, you got to do it with Dirty Water Media. I mean, Dirty Water Media is out there more than anybody. One final thing. There's so much to talk about with you. Stage Night Club. It, has, it hasn't opened yet, but I've been hearing rumors that this is going to be the newest hotspot in Boston. Stage is going to be epic. Stage is this American vaudeville concept, which is old, circusy um, talent. You know, we're building these stages, two or three of them in the venue. They'll be closed and they'll open and you'll see different acts. Like it's never been done in Boston. We just got approved by the licensing board last week. We're fired up. We close on the business next week and we start construction in two weeks. So we hope to be we hope our grand opening will be like Halloween. That would be epic. Halloween grand opening at stage. You know? We're fired I'm up. I'm there. I'm there. there. You in? We're in. Alright, we're in. Alright, awesome. Let's go. Woo! We love that dirty water. Always open. You can always find food and drink here. Up next, former Bruins tough guy Jay Miller chats up his courtyard. That's when Dirty Water TV returns. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Sophia Goulet. And I'm Kayla Harrity. And I have to tell you something super important. We have to get our butts down to Katowmit and go to the courtyard. I met up with Jay Miller, the owner, you know, the, the former Bruins, Bruins tough guy. Yes, the Bruins tough guy. He used to play for the Bruins. Unbelievable. He, you walk in and it's this, there's this fire pit with a fountain that comes out of the middle. They have brick oven pizza, great drinks, and it's huge. You can meet so many people in one night. The music, they have live music indoors and outdoors. I can't really describe this place. Let's take it to the courtyard. The courtyard is a place to be. Wonderful patio area, great food, great time. Come on by, it's awesome. Open year round for lunch and dinner, Courtyard Restaurant and Bar in Katuit is a full service restaurant and bar featuring fresh local seafood and classic New England fare, as well as amazing nightly specials. The pizza here is something to talk about. You want to tell me a little bit about the pizza? So we put in the brick oven and we serve all throughout the night and then during the night when people come in, um, you know, the night scene, the bar and everything like that, we sell them by the slice. Um, it's all brick oven, it's really, really good. People come back all the time and, you know, make comments on how great it is. Our number one seller is the blackened shrimp. Uh, we do uh, small and large, very successful, four years now we've been doing it. I don't know why I didn't do it 20 years ago. Uh, but you can have it after, uh, you, when you come in and have a couple drinks, you can have it till one o'clock in the morning. But what we found to be most special about this summertime venue is their incredible outdoor patio area that features an open courtyard with a fire pit as its centerpiece, making it a great place to hang out with all your family and friends. Every year we do something different. Uh, you know, the, the locals down here like a little bit of change, but they don't want to be someplace new. They like the old, but you put a little bit new every year and it makes them happy, it makes them come back. Clearly, the courtyard is a must visit checklist on the Heineken's list for the best patios for summertime. And this is probably the best patio I've yeah, seen we, all we summer. We do a lot of Heineken's here at the courtyard Heineken Light, Heineken, Heineken on draft. Anything you need, we have Heineken. 
The courtyard is owned and operated by former Bruins bad boy Jay Miller. So you're guaranteed to always have a great view for the latest sporting games on TV and a good time. When I retired from the Bruins, I um, was looking for something to do and I happened to be in um, land development. And this came up on the market and I said, you know what, that wouldn't be a bad idea. I never planned on being in the restaurant nightclub business. I was going to rent it. And uh, nobody wanted to rent it and I ended up with my wife Paula. And uh, we were young, I was just 32 years old. And I said, let's try it. So now I'm here and uh, 24 years later. And when Heineken is in the house making things merry, the courtyard suddenly becomes more friendly and festive than ever before. Heineken's been a great friend of ours and stuff like that. So. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Heineken, for Thank you, Heineken. Yes. Do it again so I can come back. <laughs> And with live music from 93 North, the patio at Courtyard is absolutely jamming on this late summer night. 365 days a year, seven days a week, generator always open, you can always find food and drink here. Well, the Courtyard was voted best outdoor bar in the Cape, and it is no wonder that Heineken chose them as one of their number one stops this summer. If this patio isn't on your bucket list, it best be. I want to thank Jay Miller for a fantastic night at the Courtyard, open all year round. Get there, you will regret it. We're wrapping things up here tonight. We have a lot of people to thank, SJ Torres and the entire Howl of the Moon staff. And we do have a saying here on Dirty Water TV, the weekend may be over, but the party never ends. Right here on Dirty Water TV. Let's check it out. Brothers and things. Oh, but they're cool people. Oh.